Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another Signals review video. Today we're gonna take a look at a gentleman called Nasdaq Ninja. This question comes from Squared that's in the traders room. He asked, can you please do a review on Nasdaq Ninja Signals? So I decided let's go and have a look at the Nasdaq Ninja and I went to his Instagram. Now the first thing that really caught my eye was this guy calls himself the Nasdaq specialist. I never knew you get such a profession. And he also says he's the godfather of Dow Jones. I never knew Dow Jones had parents. And then he says he also he is the landlord of US 30. I did not know that the Dow Jones was renting all this time. So uh, without any further ado, I started going through the Instagram and I realized this guy just made most recently two days ago made 753,535.97 ZAR. Now I said, you know what? If you can make it on a 50k account, that is a massive return. I'm also going to go and sign up to your signals and I'm going to get this type of results. So the first thing I did was I set sail over to his free Telegram group. And I realized that as always, you always see blue screens of the blue screens of the blue screens. And I saw that this guy is maybe, 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 just maybe he is the the nasdaq specialist right so i've gone through everything and i was like no i am convinced now if you can do a hundred percent in profit that will take the doubt that it will that will take the s p 500 at least a minimum of 10 years to make a hundred percent profit back to get these types of results and i decided you know what let me go and just sign up but i wanted to know how much does the the, the results look fantastic but how much does it cost and I realized here yeah, it says lifetime signals a thousand and I was like, I was not here for a lifetime. I just need one month just to see what I can come up with. Right. In any case, I got a hold of this gentleman. Uh, we started to negotiate. I said, hi boss, how much for one month signals, please? I need for Kitty Samba, boss. He says 1000. I said, I don't have a thousand. Can you remove me once again after just one month? I said, please, King, I need one month. I need to get in your signals because you are doing such a good job. I want to meet the landlord of the Dow Jones. I said, I only need one month. I said, King Nasdaq, 300 Rand for one month. Please, my King, I'm begging a millionaire to take my 300 Rand for, for a signal. And then he sends me some pay, payment information. I asked him, is 300 Rand a month? I said, please confirm Top G. Can you guys see, I even call this guy Top G. I said, I can make the payment now. He says, no. I says, okay. Then he said that he sent a special, right? There was a special that he was running that I believe is still running. I'm not sure. It was 550 somewhere in this group. He said 550 Rand. I don't think you can see it, but if you're in this group, you would have seen, right? Then, in any case, and then, and then I asked, is it 550 for the lifetime? He says, I said, you're not answering me. Can I pay? No problem. I just want to confirm 550 for lifetime. Yes, it is. I paid the guy 550. I got added to the group. There was no telegram. And he basically acknowledged because I paid him exactly. <laughs> right. So I got into the signal group and I decided the 1st of December is where I'm going to. I'm going to sort in it. And... I've gone through the last three videos that I've made signal reviews on, right? And I have seen a lot of people in the comment section, right? Now, I welcome constructive criticism because it allows me to go back and bring these videos to you guys in a way where you are able to see that your feedback is valued, first of all, but it's also about being transparent about the way I do these things. So I've taken the information in the comment section. People say you don't. So as TP1 at heat, people are saying you are uh, being too fast throughout the, the videos. Some people are saying, you know, um, but, 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 but you are not uh, making sure that the trades are taken on the correct date. And you know, all of these things. And, and there's some, some comments that I can't actually put here because some people ask me, who do you think you are? I don't know, so I don't know what to say about that. But I've taken all the feedback, and in today's video, we're gonna do things a whole lot different with the way we mark them on the charts as well. So I set sail on the 1st of December, and what I did was, I said to myself, let me go back to the 1st of December for Euro USD, and you can see over here, the first trade was sent on the 1st of December at half past 
10. Now, this guy, between the 1st of December and the 13th of December on the 16th, he had sent almost 24 to 25 signals already, which is sufficient data for me to do this video because it will probably take me two years to take that many trades and this guy had taken it in about 10 days. Now, the first trade that you can see over here was on the 1st of December. There you can see the time it was sent was at half past 10 and here you can see it was entered at that point over there, right? Now, here you can see, I hope I'm going to get a thank you for acknowledging. I'm just joking. There you can see I marked TP1. Unfortunately, TP1 did not hit for this uh, trade in particular. And then he sent another trade. There you can see the trade was running in profits, but the profits he's referring to was this move to the upside, which was about 10 pips, right? But the TP1 did not hit. Then he sent another buy on the 4th of December. There you can see, there, 4th of December. The time it was sent was 13.8. And there we can see 13.8, 4th of December, stop loss had hit once again. Now, then he sent another buy on Euro USD on the 6th of December. And if we go all the way to the back, we are going to see over here that um, this was on the 6th of December. If we go here, you'll see uh, the 6th of December, half past nine. Yeah, send it half past nine. This trade, the highest that it has gone was about 12 pips, U turned, and then the stop loss was hit, right? Now, that's three stop losses that it hit. If I am missing anything, please let me know, okay? Now, one thing I also do want to mention is here is no mentioning of make sure you move your stop loss to break even. So if a new trader comes into the business, they don't know any of these things. He does say that to minimize losses, please lock in profits, right? What does locking in profits mean? It does mean at five pips, 10 pips, because even if you do lock it in at 10 pips, the stop loss alone is 24 pips. So if you take profit at five pips, you probably need a big account in order to do that, right? But three stop losses later, he then makes a YouTube video to explain to people how to trade the Euro USD. And I would have expected him to just follow his own advice because he made the video after three stop losses. He then there was a buy on AUD CAT. Now, AUD CAT was a buy, and you can see this buy was taken at 22.3. This day was on the 7th of December, right? So we're gonna go to the 7th of December and we can see over here now this trade also okay you can see here it says sl 0.8728 the tp is open now i've never understood what it means tp open because if i had to send a signal i would have at least have an idea of where i think the price is gonna rally to and that would be considered my take profit but to him tp opens i don't know if you were in this group where did you close because we've got a 58 pip stop loss and then we have a 50 do we call it a 65.66 pip move to the upside which is where i would assume the trade was closed again i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt but i don't know where these trades were closed um as we can see here this guy made 55,300 and 61.70 cents. Now, I know for a fact that I would not be anywhere if I'm making 700,000 and 55,000. I would be in Dubai with some people that is also making that kind of money. And then next up, we had a beautiful sell on USD CAT as well. This was a brilliantly taken trade, which I will give this sentiment credit for. This trade was taken um on monday which was at 18 8 which is at 20 past 8 in the morning and you can see uh, this trade was taken there the time 8 30 and that trade moved beautifully to the downside so well done for that trade and that was about it after that there was nothing sent on there now the next part that we are going to get to is the actual reason for me signing up right this is the lifetime signals group for a group called um, for the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ signals, right? Now, this group over here, 
Okay, just to come down very slowly, there, this group consists of 374 members. Now, 374 members, now I'm not saying all of these people paid a thousand because some of them also had a discount. To give you, so we're gonna work on the average, right? We're gonna say 750 um, times, what do we say? 374 people. We call it 373, okay? 373 gives you a total of 279,750 was generated through this group um, of signals. So that is already a lot of money to make through that. So the signal has to be very good. So I started going through the signals once again. Now this was the first signal. You can see I can't go up any further because WhatsApp does not have a does doesn't have a history of chat, right? It says here that on the on December the 8th there was a signal sent at 851 now one thing I would like to advise advise this gentleman to, to do and uh, although he's probably gonna not take the advice is that he shouldn't send so many signals this guy he really does send a lot of signals you know a lot of signals all the time so this was the first signal that was sent here it was on friday over here and if we go back i'm going to close this and close that so we can see it was a buy on us 30 again there's no tp over here there's just an sl of 31 6 36 101 it was sent at 05.51 that was sent right over there right now keep in mind that the original stop loss was set at 36 101 which was there right that's i've even marked it then the gentleman then sends another message and you can see how these people are just joining because they obviously see it over there now he says that the sl is too far please adjust it to 36139.12 which is where i have adjusted to 36139 let me just make sure i have this correct in front of you guys um 36 no that was the entry 36139 yeah i don't even know what is going on here because the entry and the 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 sl is too far let's adjust it the sl 36139 30 sl 36101 um yeah i'm not really sure exactly what what had happened here because the, the sl was 36101 there you can see so I don't understand how it went higher, okay? Uh, I I just like 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 I don't understand that that was if, if there's anything that I'm missing here, please let me know because I don't understand because you can see thirty six one three nine is higher than thirty six one zero one where he says that um, the SL is two is far, so the entry might have been different, but you can see there zero eight five one is there 0851 the trade was taken there but in any case i'm not going to dwell too much on this you can see here clearly he got he was in the trade he made 117,000, and here is where the tricky part comes in you can see here that the trade was taken yeah okay the trade was taken at 36038 right according to him right 36038 there Okay, 038. I don't even know how it got there, but yeah, 36040. And let me just get my head in here quickly. There. So the trade was taken there on the Dow Zones. There. Okay, Friday at 8:50, right? Friday at 8:50, um, he sent this. Now. I am very much confused with how he got in there when this was an update at six minutes past three. This was sent at 0851, right? Now, if you look at this trade over here, 36101, if you look at this position over here, this stop loss here, right, had already hit. You can see there, right, 36139. That's where he bought, basically bought, the, the price moved down, hit the stop loss. You can see he even marked the stop loss. It got hit, but he was not taken out of the trade. Now, keep in mind that that was sent at 15.06, right? Then, 20, 
four minutes later, he sends another trade. Again, here you can see the trade was sent at 15.20. The stop loss was 36,000. That trade didn't even move anywhere. It just came down 36,000. Let me just uh, readjust this for you guys very quickly. Um, there, that stop loss hit also. Now, you can see here, uh, according to him, you can see that stop loss had it Yeah, you know, or in fact, yeah, you, you can see that the price reached there. But according to him, now he says before fundamental work. So he basically, so after the trade got stopped, stopped out, right? He re-entered the trade at a lower price, um, which was somewhere year 36.88, somewhere there. I don't even know uh, where. And then there you can see he's trying to show the people that his trades got stopped out as well. But yeah, he's sending that he's actually made some gains in there also. And then he says after. So at this point, I was just confused because one thing I have noticed about this guy is he likes to send just blue screens even when things are not looking good in the VIP. He would still send people the trades on that side. To just make it look as if we are making money but we're not making any money here you can see the third trade the third trade on that same day three trades in one day another trade was seen that um was seen that 622 and if we go look at 622 over here and then the trade actually went beautifully and then he says we recovered and i would assume two people out of the 374 people actually recovered because if I was trading a small account, my account would have been blown out of these first two trades that I had already hit, right? Then life goes on and then he sends another signal. Um, so this is where he says, good day guys. Trade24 has announced a bonus rescue. You can sign up through a millionaire's affiliated link. And that was it. He said that he's only going to post this link today, right? Now people start joining because they see the blue screens, but they don't see the losses that has accumulated before the blue screens was hit as well. Then on Monday, we opened up 9 or 12. We can see here um, on the 9th, we have moved, moved. Um, I think it was, yeah, I'm not even sure if I've marked it out. Let's go. Yes, yeah, Sunday, Monday, this was, let me just check the date um, very quickly, just so that I don't confuse myself. I think that was the 11th because I checked that yesterday. Yes, that was Monday the 11th at half past eight. There was a buy that was sent. Here we go. Um, yeah, and then there we go. Half past eight, the buy was sent. That moved to the downside. And then again, you know, not even an hour later, another buy was sent, um, SL 36296, it was sent at about 10 o'clock. There you can see I marked it at 10, there's the stop loss. The stop loss was 26920, that stop loss had hit as well. Now, this is where I don't, am I not sure what was going on, right? Then he sends this trade. Now, if you look at this trade, right? This trade over here, where is it now? The, at 9.50 there, um, then Monday the 11th, and then, sorry, the, the next signal after that two stop losses was it. Again, he's still in the trade, but the stop loss had hit. You, you can see how he marks the stop losses because it is getting hit. That's where he bought it, but he doesn't close the trades. Probably not trading a real account, I don't know, right? Then there was a sell on the NASDAQ. So we go over to the NASDAQ, and this was sent also on the 11th which was on a monday and we are going to go over to that very quickly um also let's go to the 11th there so this sell on the nasdaq okay again was sent where was it now uh at 10 to 3 and you can see there 10 to 3 um that was sent on the 11th of december that was sent on the 11th of December, Monday, and then boom, the stop loss had hit also. Then he says buy US 30. That was also on the 11th. Once again, um, 
again this guy he likes to trade i must say <laughs> this guy likes to trade. i think he sits in front of the charts right so we go back to the 11th of december over here right there and you can see over here right that was tuesday okay that this guy sent so many signals monday 16 23 i think we already covered that one yeah so yeah boom the market spikes up the tp1 had hit but the rest of the award is not that good but well done nasdaq i'm going to give you the credit but you know just so that you don't come here and say but the tp1 had hit and there you can see that move that we are seeing over here I don't know people might have closed there people might have i i don't know what people i did with that then on tuesday the 12th we had another buy on the dow zones that you can see how the market had spiked up and then you can also see that um okay you didn't post that and then again on tuesday an hour later there's another signal that was sent once again um this was on wednesday let me just make sure on tuesday no that was monday tuesday 16 20 tuesday yeah sorry sorry guys 16 20 uh there was another buy <sighs> yeah this guy likes to trade really the 16 20 uh, I didn't even see this one. This was Tuesday, 1620. Um, the stop loss was there. There we go. So 1620 there. So it probably entered there. Uh, might have even entered there because of that. But in any case, there you can see that stop loss had hit. Also, um, SL, last thing of the day. This wasn't the one. Okay, that probably wasn't the few. And then we had on Wednesday, on the 13th, which was there, we had a buy on, now remember, now remember, all of the signals, it was said with the people in my trading room as well. I've basically sent everything to them so they can look at it, they can trade it, they can do with it whatever they want to. And that way, they are open to also give their own feedback on how it went as well right so just keep that in mind as well they also had access i've seen it to them also so wednesday we had another buy on us 30 that stop loss hit that stop loss hit and then there was a buy on the nasdaq and one thing about this gentleman also is he likes to trade he likes to trade the news right trades always before high impact news which is a which which is a risk by nasdaq wednesday at 15 past four and this is how it went there wednesday 15 it went up it went up with how many pips was that about 212 right it's nothing you can decide if stop loss it or if you close 212 pips any case then he's asking for results and then boom there people started sending look at me i'm making money buy us 30 and then there was a stop loss that had hit once again um that was also on wednesday and this was this was yeah no this was that one buy us 30 16.25 on wednesday their stop loss hit then there was a buy i believe this was before the news came out the the fomc that was a good trade there and then it just shows off <laughs> i i actually realized that th this is how it always goes there you can see people came through this guy made 34 rand. well done you are very close to getting your 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 500 back that you paid for my friend don't worry so if you keep trading like that you will get there then on thursday we were starting to sell the market then the stop loss hit and then we sold it again then uh, this trade actually went down as anticipated um and this was when sell us 30 on thursday this was on thursday market went down i'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because there's no sl no TP. Then on Thursday, we also had, like I said, once again, 
um, sell US 30 that was that sell that I just talked about there which was at 1434 yeah Thursday let's go yeah I think it was sent yeah I'm just don't know what is going on yes yesterday oh this was Friday sorry guys yesterday yesterday that was Thursday this was Friday okay so half past two on Friday we yeah we had a perfect sell but this is the problem now I want to show you guys something right there's the cell still running out of the cell is ask for results and then the cell still going and then he says buy so the as the cell was going the guy said buy then the stop loss had hit then he says buy again and then again sl open tp open i don't know what that means but it moved up and it went as exactly it went up but again i can give him all the credit to say that it has gone there because that would be okay but if i do say that you know that um, people might have closed there then that's not the correct way to do it so you decide exactly what you think of that so that was the signals that was sent up until the 16th it was a lot of signals it is a lot to trade i would tell this guy just cool it down a little bit with the signals but it's your group you choose what you want to do with it please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thank you for your time and as always cheers for years